That's Phil Collins, of course, and Two Hearts. Now I see the Regional Cultural Centre and Glebe House and Gallery are looking for an emerging art creator. This is a programme that's designed to help in the development of the whoever's successful, uh, offering them mentorship opportunities, also direct experience in uh, curating professional exhibitions and in encouraging them to uh, get involved with the artists and art professionals here in Donegal. Uh, well, uh, Jeremy Howard is manager of the Regional Cultural Centre and uh, joins us now and also we're streaming on Facebook. Jeremy, good afternoon. Good afternoon, John. Thanks for having me on. It is good to talk, as always, and let's talk about uh, this residency now. What what exactly does it mean for whoever's successful? They'll be will they have to move? To, if, I presume it's from anywhere in Ireland, but will they have to move to Donegal? They won't. They won't, and we want to make it as, I suppose, as accessible to everyone throughout the country. We kind of we realise that, like many professions. You know, there's plenty of opportunities to become a, a young curator, to study, to be a curator. And there's plenty of opportunities for established curators. But there's there's not many opportunities for someone who's just recently either graduated or recently started their career as a curator. So we want to kind of, I suppose, bridge that gap and to offer them an opportunity really to work with us, but also to work with Donegal artists. Um, they won't have to move here. A lot of it will be based online, but they will have to come here you know, I think we're talking about maybe two, three weeks over the time to meet local artists and to talk to local artists. I think that's an important part of it. We really want them to get a, a sense of the Donegal art landscape and to go out to artist studios and to work with them and just to kind of to see what local artists need and how they can help. Like the curator job, it's, it's a difficult job. <laughs> I wouldn't want to try it myself, to be honest. You know, it's I, when you walk into an exhibition, a good exhibition brings you on a journey and it explains to you what the artist is trying to do or the ideas behind the art. And if the curator isn't good, then, you know, you can, you can feel lost in the exhibitions. And I think that even for the RCC, it's important for us to widen our circle and to meet new curators and to be inspired by new ideas. When we walk into an exhibition, we don't think of the work that's gone in to create that exhibition. We ju we're just there to admire what's on display, but there can be an awful lot of uh, hard work and expertise and effort that's gone in just to get it to that point. Of course, of course. And, you know, the I used to think a curator was someone who decided where the painting goes on the wall. But it's now, you know, after years of experience of going to exhibitions and helping produce exhibitions, it's so much more deep than that. The curator has to really interpret it and has to has to make it really clear for the audience of what the message is here and has to has to inspire the visitors. One of the artists always, I don't know how how this works, but he used to call the curator like the football manager, you know, the curator is instead of football players, you have different either artists or art, art pieces or artworks, and they're picking the formation that will work for the audience, but also trying to inspire the audience. Now, I kind of get off that. Uh, I stop on that analogy when he starts saying that the the opposition or the general public. But I thought it was it was good apart from that. <laughs> I wouldn't quite go that far. But <laughs> it's not all about whoever this uh, this person. Uh, uh, will be and uh, what you can do for them but it's also about what what they can do for you and for Donegal and what what is expected of them yeah so what we're doing from them I, you know we're we're introducing them to I suppose world-class curators throughout the country who are going to mentor them but what we expect them to do for us is to work with local artists and to work with the Arts Council in their collection and to develop a, a major exhibition in September, October time in the RCC and the Glebe Gallery, but also to work with all the local schools. There's a great organization of Donegal arts teachers. They're going to work very closely with them and develop school tours and just engagement programs to make these exhibitions a little bit more accessible to, to everyone in Donegal, not just for art fans. Okay. What sort of a person are you looking for then? Well, I, I know we say emerging and... Uh, 
it doesn't have to be a young person. It can be any age, someone that's just starting out in their career as a curator. It could be someone who's been an artist all their life. Who's I'm not sure I understand. Sorry. My oh. phone is talking to me. It could be anyone, any age. And um, someone who had a passion, a clear passion for art. Okay. Uh, and when, when will they be in place? How soon will they be? In, would you like to have them in place? So the deadline for applications is next Monday. It's a very oh. short application, 500 words. And we're hoping then within, the, within a, maybe a fortnight to pick the winning applicants and then have them in place by mid-February. Okay. And uh, as you say, it can be from anywhere in the country because some of it will be online, but, uh, you know, they'll be expected to be here in the county uh, quite a bit over the, over the months. It's from the February right through to October. That's right. And it's a, it's a paid position. So, you know, we, we don't want someone to come in to work for free. We want to make sure they're reimbursed for everything that they do. But I think it's just a fantastic opportunity. They'll be working with the director of the Void Gallery and one of the creators from IMA Gallery, the Museum of Modern Art, the director of the National Photography Gallery, and also a lot of local curators like Adrian Kelly in the Glebe Gallery and Judith McCarthy is the director of the Donegal County Museum. So that sort of, um, I suppose that sort of experience and mentorship is priceless. All right. Uh, it'd be perfect for someone who's, uh, you know, just starting out, someone with a, a, a degree in art who's just starting out or, or wants, to, wants to get a lot of experience. That's right. And it's just going to be a great opportunity for us to meet, meet new people and meet new passionate yeah. people about art. And, and now that the restrictions are, are lifted, I mean, you know, it's, it means a lot to the, uh, um, the Cultural Centre and also to the, the Glebe Gallery, as well as, you know, all other, um, uh, you know, of, um, museums and uh, galleries uh, around the country. It's, uh, it's a it's new dawn, a relief, if you like. Yeah. It's such a relief to be organising exhibitions and concerts and to have some sense of security that they'll actually take place. Um, I, th I think it's going to be a busy summer. <laughs> I'd imagine so. I'd imagine so. Uh, by the way, for those that are interested in this residency, um, where can they apply to? If they just go on the Regional Culture website, so that's regionalculturalcenter.com, all the information is there. And again, it's just a 500 word um, application. Very, very simple. We want to make it as straightforward as possible. And don't be afraid to contact me if you have any questions. All right. Then. Thanks, Jeremy. Best luck to you. Thank you. We're Danielle, Kevin and Bonnie. We took the challenge and swapped to up insane like the nappies and stuff she loves all the baby food and we feel like you know we don't even need